So in summary, tell us about asthma brain. So I would point out four value points of asthma brain. Number one, it identifies specific risks that will occur, in this case, in the realm of asthma. Secondly, it will identify which organic population clusters, which individuals even, are at highest risk and why they're at such a high risk. What are they doing that puts them at risk or what is happening to them or around them? Thirdly, it will also identify very similar people who aren't at risk, uh, at such high risk. And what are they doing differently from others uh, in that similar group that can be used then to, with the ones at risk to prevent the, uh, the risk and the negative outcomes, the asthma attacks, the hospitalizations. Mm -hmm. So it only predicts who's at risk, but it provides prevention ideas uh, to reduce that risk. And then finally, it initiates action. It sends that information to the caregivers, the clinicians. It sends that information to the patients so that people right away can start to take action. This isn't a long, multi-month, multi-million dollar implementation process that's difficult to learn. We can implement it quickly and start delivering return on investment very, very rapidly as well. And in the process, improve outcomes and reduce potentially millions of dollars in hospital costs right away for hospitals.